All right, we'll move on to the Big Ten. Um, I'm going to tell you the two that I like the most in this one. Uh, the Big Ten, I I like the way that Iowa has been playing here lately. They are plus yep. plus 400, and then Wisconsin. So long as, uh, who is it, Johnny Davis? Uh, so long as he is healthy, because he got injured in that last game against Nebraska. They lost, they lost an outright Big Ten title at home to Nebraska in the last game of the season. But uh, but things went a little crazy there. That that can that can happen here and there. Um, I, I like Iowa. Iowa is the fifth seed uh, at plus four hundred, and I like Wisconsin. They're the two seed. Uh, Wisconsin would have to play the winner of Michigan State, Maryland, and then they would have to play uh, Purdue or Ohio State, most likely, uh, before you even get to the championship game. Which you know, who knows what's going to happen on the the top side of that, but. I, I like Iowa plus 400 because they, as far as metrics go, they have been the best team in this league over the last month and a half or so. And Wisconsin, all you get from them is results. Like, they they have beaten everybody in this field and and done it, you know, semi-convincingly. They don't win every game by a ton of points, but, but Wisconsin's been really, really good, and they've got a closer in Johnny Davis, man. I, I love these two teams with maybe the two best players in the league. And I understand you can talk about Jaden Ivey at Purdue, et cetera, et cetera. But I, those those are the two where I actually saw value. Um, who uh, who in this one do you like? I'll uh, I'll read you some stats or some uh, some odds. No, here. no, 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 I don't need, I don't need, uh, what, what, what is the number for Izzo? Uh, let's see, Michigan State is plus 1,600. Take it. All right, so you would take Izzo plus 1,600. That's a long shot because, I'm, we're getting into tournament time, Gary. This isn't about stats. This isn't about analytics. The game's going to completely change when you get into tournament play. And I will take Tom Izzo over the field in coaching in this conference, and it ain't close. Michigan State, uh, let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, as far as advanced stats over the last nine games of the season, uh, number eleven out of fourteen. They went three and six down the stretch. Yep, that's, that's the only fine. thing that that scares me about it, right? I, I get it. I, like, once again, this is not about stats. It's not about analytics. This is about a guy that's been doing it longer than I've been alive. That's a, yeah. You got a point there. <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> All right. So Izzo plus sixteen hundred. All right, I, I can get down with that. I can get hey, down what, with what that. A, what a produce. What a produce stats. If I was going to take somebody that was a little more chalky, what a produce number. Oh, Purdue not is the. Stats. Purdue Dog. is the chalkiest. Uh, they are oh, so they really? they're the number three seed, but they are plus one seventy five. Oh hell no, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. No, all right. And then they, I'd probably follow you with Wisconsin for the other play. Yeah, I, I like Wisconsin. I Iowa, something safer. Iowa has come on as of late. Um, they they went eight and two in their last ten. Like in in I know they lost at Illinois on a last second shot uh, on Sunday night, but. Still, I mean, they lost by two at Illinois when Illinois had a chance to to win a Big now, Ten championship. Now, here's the other question: What are Michigan's odds? Michigan is sitting at plus fourteen hundred. They, they get Juwan Howard might, back. Yeah, I about to say I I might I might not play that Wisconsin. I might I might take both Michigan State teams, the uh, Michigan State and Michigan. Michigan plays Indiana in uh, the first game on. Let's see, March 10th. So what would that be? Uh, Thursday. And then they would have to play number one seed, Illinois. Uh, and then either Rutgers or Iowa after that. Or, I mean, Nebraska. Nebraska hadn't lost in I don't even know how many games. So who knows what will happen from uh, from the Wednesday stuff. But, yeah, I could, uh, I could see Michigan getting there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.